for any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Ça va bien? Bonjour. Du département 16, la Charente. I'm going to have to read this out. <laughs> la pointe, la plus septentrionale du sud-ouest de la France. I just want to thank you all for your lovely kind words yesterday. Uh, get face tracking back on. Um, for when I was explaining about my stammer, my stutter, and you know, the difficulties around uh, speaking French and uh, learning it and having those difficult conversations um, out of the blue with French people and it's not scripted. Thank you to, to Susan White who sent me a, uh, a clip of her doing the sunglasses thing. Thank you Susan. And thank you to Peter Jones whose horse Sam sadly passed away two years ago so he's asked for a uh, Mondial, I've not even heard of that before, I had to research it, Mon Mondial location uh, where he's going to send us that down some uh, some horsey stuff. So yeah, the generosity is just uh, just staggering. Thank you very much. Well, what's a fun French fact? I've not done one of these for a while. When I was uh, explaining yesterday about the words that I avoid starting sentences with, you know, the ones that start with M and a W, and it got me thinking. And it was confirmed in one of the comments. There are not many French words. I start with W. And if they and if they were like like the word wagon, uh, which is the same in English, then it would be pronounced with a with a V. Wagon. Peut-être. De toute façon. Um, last year, <laughs> when we came um, to do the filming for a filming for, yeah, for a place in the song. I was having a very, very basic chat with the uh, with the taxi driver. So you've got to remember, we'd not even moved here. And uh, and I wanted to tell the, the the taxi driver that I liked to hear. What I said was, je t'aime ici. I love you here. It went quiet for a while. We said no more. But then we, but then we held hands for the rest of the journey. <laughs> Last week, Lisa and I bought, bought an, an electric blanket for our bed. What an absolute game changer. Put it on an hour before you go to bed. You probably don't even need to do that, maybe 10 minutes. And it just makes the bed lovely, lovely and toasty. <laughs> just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, so today, Lisa and I have also been shopping. And uh, you see, we, you, we always get stuck at the Scanasha, Scanashat. I don't know whether you pronounce it here or not. It's um, we got your little zappy thing and uh, you take it take it through there. Now we're always asked ask the same question, and it doesn't seem to matter what answer I give them. They don't understand what I'm saying. So I think what they what they're saying to us, c'est ça, bien passé, uh, which Lisa got her Google Translate out and uh, secretly recorded her and. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah. Did everything go well? Um, and I just uh, replied. Uh, um, what did I say? What did, oh, hold on. C'est tout bon pour vous. It's all good for you. <laughs> but I think I said it with a slight in, uh, intonation, which made it sound like a question because their reply was "Je ne sais pas." <laughs> so it was all very confusing and awkward. Um, also, I'm in the aisle. I was being typically French by blocking it, because <laughs> um, I do find that I do find that you French people do do tend to block an aisle. Um, so anyway, um, I've got the trolley to one side, and I'm slightly forward of the trolley because I'm trying to look for red lentils, uh, and I'm bent down, and, I, and an old old lady walked past. Um, yeah, she walked behind me. I said, "Oh, pardon, pardon," and she went, uh, "No, no, um, ça passe, ça passe." So I put that into Google Translate quickly, which I put S-A, and then P-A-S-S-E, which just translates to his way. So she came across 
apologetic. So I don't know whether she was saying it's my right of way. I don't know. Let me know. What does Stapas mean in the, in that context? So today, Darren from uh, Sons of Agony, we're gonna, he's going to come here. We're going to pick up my trailer because uh, my trailer doesn't fit the car. We're going to go back to his house in Confalon and we're going to load the uh, the gates, yeah, the gates to the garage, and then we're going to bring her back here. And I, I'm also going to nick some kindling from him as well. I'm going to put that in the back of my car. Anyway, so whatever next is, let's do that. Right, so here we are with it. Right, let, well, let me just turn, turn it down before I get a copyright strike or something. Or can you turn the engine off as well? Yeah. Oh, this is a... You want one, one. I know, aren't I? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Darren from the other half of Sons of Agony. I have to go and pick up some garage doors and some kindling. Cue slow-mo. <laughs> Only that. Anyway, I actually wanted to, to experiment with something that, that I saw in a film yesterday that I thought was quite uh, that I thought thought was quite cool. So if I Oliver. Be the first one on the comments to tell me how full hardy I am. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was the most nerve wracking drive I've ever done, and that includes being shot at in Sarajevo a few times by a sniper. <clears throat> yeah, all, th all things could have gone wrong there. Anyway, we've lost about three chickens that have escaped. I'll see you tomorrow.
Good afternoon. I've uh, done quite a bit today. I finished off making the rest of the onion barges and a curry. It was zero degrees this morning, slightly warmer than yesterday when it was minus one. Um, a long cry from this. a great day <laughs> anyway I've got stuff to do been entrusted by Darren to finish off the gate then he's coming around tomorrow so let's do the gate when you're down and you stare at your window hoping that you'll come back seems to be a success. I do all the uh, paperwork and admin in our ass. It was kind of my thing for 27 years in the police. Uh, but I'm stuck. I might have mentioned it before that uh, Lisa's uh, Amelie.fr account, um, she received her uh, activation code, um, but the six weeks had uh, timed out. It wasn't her fault. They've uh, now sent her another activation code and uh, I've locked her account because I can't remember the password. <laughs> anyway, hope you all have a fantastic weekend. See you Monday. Laters.